Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be recording on Hypixel, and I'm going to be showing you guys my best lunar settings for FPS. So if you guys do enjoy this video, if this video can hit 200 likes, it'll be amazing. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe, you can change your mind at any time. And don't forget to join my Discord, you guys can join my guild. Or if you have any questions about any settings or anything that I say in this video, you guys can ask me on Discord. You guys can join do gg slash Eric or the link down in the description below. And yeah, enjoy the video. So before I get into the profiles, I'm going to be talking about the lunar client settings i feel like a lot of people only go through the mod settings and then they tell you to copy their mod settings and then they just show you gameplay and that's it there's more important things to the client that actually does optimize your fps and yeah let's get right into it so what you guys want to do is you guys want to click right shift go straight into your mods and then click settings a lot of you guys say that well the cosmetics are just too much and that's why i don't play the lunar client well one thing that you guys can do here is go to the cosmetic options and you can turn them off now i know that lunar has worked in a lot of optimizations to where bad computers can see cosmetics but if you are still having problems the best thing you can do is just turn them all off um this is more for the practice server people but if you guys ever get the achievements stuck on your top right the only thing you guys have to do is go into your settings and then click show achievements turn that off and all your achievements will disappear from your hud so you won't be able to see them anymore so if you ever get that right screen achievement stuck there just turn this off here and it'll go away next thing that you guys want to go into is your performance here so high digging part if you turn this off whenever you mine something you won't see any particles whenever you mine it's kind of obvious but i feel like i have to explain it for some people this might help i'm not really sure how this would ruin your fps because this is like so basic but if you have like a really 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 bad computer then sure you can turn that off but i don't recommend it though because if you turn off all the particles minecraft tends to look pretty bad so um next thing is hide foliage so if you're in like a place where there's a lot of entity grass and stuff like that and that's taking your fps down you can just hide foliage next thing is going to be hide in portals i don't have it on because i don't really experience this problem anymore but when i had a really bad computer my fps always went down to zero five so if you ever do get that problem whenever your fps just drops out of nowhere and you don't really know what the problem is then you can just turn it on to hide portals always and you're never gonna have that problem again next is gonna be enchantment glint i have a really good computer as i said before so i have it on but turning this off does increase your fps a lot i used to do this all the time whenever i had a bad computer next is lazy chunk loading never really understood what this did because um never really cared for it but um as you guys can see if you turn it to the lowest you're gonna get the highest fps boost next is gonna be shadows you turn this off as you guys can see there's no shadows under you pretty much taking off any entities things is going to raise your fps i don't really recommend it because sometimes it can really mess with you whenever i had like things like cosmic client I'm not saying this problem persists in like lunar client and stuff like that but sometimes if you're looking out in the distance you're going to be missing a lot of things like chest and stuff like that because it won't be rendering in the distance that is one thing to note if you do turn these things off so yeah um let's get straight into the profiles and then we'll go from there so the first profile that i'm gonna be going over is my bedwars profile i'm not going to be going too far into the settings if you have any questions just make sure to comment it down below and i'll respond to you in the comment section and yeah all right so the first one is 1.7 visuals i have all of them enabled fps the only thing that i changed here was the show background i don't like to see the background on it it's it's kind of ugly to me with the background but if you like the background you can turn it on i have it off that's all up to you next one is cps the only thing that i changed here was right click cps so it shows my right clicks whenever i'm clicking so then you see how fast i'm clicking on both sides next is my toggle sneak and sprint i think i changed here was the hud but i always recommend to keep that enabled the next mod that I'm be going over is my zoom mod. A lot of you guys always ask me how do I zoom whenever I'm looking out into the distance and the only thing that I have enabled is scroll to zoom. So whenever I'm using my Optivine zoom, if I use my scroll wheel, it lets me zoom too. And that's how you do it. Next is high pixel mods. If you want to copy any of the mods, you can copy them right here. Uh, my level text, if you guys want to copy the color of my text and my number, it's right here. You can go ahead and pause the video for those. Next is potion effects. These are default. The only thing I did was move them around on the HUD. And then I have my scoreboard. So if you guys want to know how I made the background on the scoreboard transparent, all you have to do is go to the background color. And then you just play around with this bar right here. And it will change the opacity on your scoreboard or pretty much any mod that you use. Same thing for all of them. You just go to the background color and then you move it around. I have pack organizer. The only thing that this does is it just organizes your packs inside of your resource packs folder. It's pretty useful. I do recommend using it if you guys do 
like organization, you should you should definitely organize your packs, okay? It's a good idea. And the last thing that I have that um, some of you guys have asked in the comments is how to have the blur whenever I open up my menus and stuff like that. The only thing you guys have to do is scroll down all the way down to the bottom of your mods and then turn on menu blur and then you can just change the strength. This is my strength on my menu blur. You can change it to however you like. Personally, four is just good enough for me. But if you like 20, that um, that's cool too. Um, but yeah, four is my blur strength. And if you guys want to copy down my settings, then you can copy them all right here. But that's pretty much going to be all for my Bed Wars. Okay, so now I'm going to be getting into the Sky Wars profile. So everything's pretty much going to be the same. 1.7 visuals, everything on. FPS, background off. CPS, right-click CPS on. Um, high pixel mod, same thing. Everything is going to be pretty much the same. The only really different things that I'm going to have added to my Sky Wars is going to be the armor HUD, which is I have to my left here. And the Bed Wars stats is going to be removed. I don't really have anything like too big. I feel like a lot of people have like too many things on their HUD, way too many distracting things on their HUD. It's just really weird to me how people can play with like a thousand things on their HUD when like they can barely see anything. If you guys really want to know how to get good and how to like get the best settings and stuff like that, the best settings is the least amount of things in your HUD. You don't want to have a thousand things on your HUD. You don't need to know how many resources you have in your inventory. You can literally just click E and it's there. You don't have to have like sprint toggled. You can tell whenever you're sprinting and stuff like that. You don't need all these things in your HUD. It's been a big theory of mine and it's been a big theory of a lot of people. I feel like anything that you have on your HUD is going to lower your FPS. So if you're going to have anything in your HUD, then you should keep everything that's like useful to you. Okay. Not something that's going to just be there that, that you can just check in like two seconds. So yeah, that's that's my two piece on um, pretty much like the profiles and the mods and stuff like that. Don't put everything on your HUD. It's it's useless and it, you don't really need it. All right. So those are my Sky Wars settings. Um, so next, what we're going to be doing is I'm just going to be doing a couple games in Sky Wars because I haven't played Sky Wars in a long time. And I just showcased my Sky Wars profile. So now you guys can see what it looks like in game, even though you guys most likely already have because if you watch any of my Sky Wars videos and that's exactly what it looks. So uh, yeah, let's get right into the games and then... We'll go from there. All right, so we're gonna get some gameplay in and um, we're gonna call the video a day. Um, here, pick up this armor, put this on. Just make our way down to middle because one thing I've learned from Sky Wars is if you don't get any of the OP stuff, you're just dead. I mean, that's just, that's just the way it is. Clean? Bro, I learned this from ranked Sky Wars, I swear. Oh my gosh, I'm weak. You're not gonna get away. You just might actually get away. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No! What? What? Dude. No. Dude, I don't know. I feel like last game kind of got me heated. It's, it's kind of unfortunate, you know? Like, if anything, I thought strength was gonna be enough. But it just wasn't. It's, uh, it's a little bit unfortunate. Big letdown. Oh, I'm so sorry, Emily. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just killed her. I'm actually not sorry. I need to win by any means necessary. All right. Bruh. Dude. Get out of here. Oh, my God. Did you guys see that? That, oh, my. Honestly, I kind of look like a god. Like, oh, 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 oh. I killed a hacker. Yes, I've came across a hacker. I've always died, but I won this time. Dude, I just, dude maybe this win was just, this just meant to be. You can't stop me anymore, dude. You literally can't. Bro, give me a challenge. Bro, why are all these guys good at clutching? What the heck is going on here? Dude. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm Katniss. Come on, let's go. Bro, why does this man have a pearl? What is going on? I swear to God, if I lose because he has a pearl. Kind of weird, you know, I'm Steve, you're an Alex. The heck, what are you like a snipe? <laughs> Please. Please what? I need to win. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, fine. Win! Ah, uh, escape! Ah, easy, easy. Oh my God, I fell. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Don't forget to join my Discord down in the description below and join my guild slash G join one if you guys want to join or you can apply in my Discord slash GG slash Eric. And yeah, you guys have a great day.
Kamba, so much to do.